Hey, hi Sophia. Hey. <laughs> For me, youth has been a very existential time. I also think it's like interesting that people say that your youth is like your happiest years because I think it's been pretty hard for me. <laughs> it was interesting coming here and like not having to tell anyone what time I was gonna get home or like even ask like what are we having for dinner? Like everything's up to me, which is a lot, but also kind of nice. I have always had like very much a plan and like very much a concrete idea of what I wanted to do with my life, even down to like by 23 I'm gonna do this, by 25 I'm gonna do this. In the next 10 years, I was planning to like get my PhD, get married, have kids, and now it's like, is that gonna happen in the next 10 years? Now being at the forefront of this like next period feels really crazy to imagine that I could undergo all the, those huge changes. I guess there's sort of like two tiers of things I wanna do. One side is like the responsible things I wanna do, which channel into my future career and then there's other tier of things I want to do which are like just the wild unrealistic dreams of like travel for a living and stuff like that I find it so interesting the things that compel children and like just the unbridled imagination just like the way that kids believe in magic so wholeheartedly I think is just like so special for my own kids and the kids that I work with in the future I really just want to encourage them to build their imagination in the natural world and in their interactions with other people, be comfortable with that. I've always said that my favorite moments are the times when I'm just overwhelmed. In a beautiful place with people that I love, uh, staying up all night and like watching the sunrise and just being like so exhausted I can barely function. Having moments throughout the day where I run into people and I'm like, wow, like I'm just going, like I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. I think I want my life to be like that all the time, where like I'm always in a place that inspires me and surrounded by people that inspire me. Feeling just content where I am instead of my mind being somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, next year I'm probably gonna go with fake plants. Yeah.